This tutorial will walk you through how to install OpenFast on different operating systems. Starting with a focus on Mac systems, skip forward to the next chapter if you are operating on a PC. OpenFast can be installed through Conda, which requires an Anaconda installation. If Anaconda is already installed on your system, you can skip ahead. If not, go to the Anaconda website, anaconda.com download. You can hit Skip Registration if you prefer not to provide your email address. Choose the Mac Download option and select either Download for Apple Silicon or Download for Intel, depending on your processor. Help to determine your processor type can be found at support.xtool.com. Find the installer download in your Downloads folder and double-click on it. Then, follow the prompts to install Anaconda, selecting the default install options when prompted. Now, open a terminal by searching for and opening the terminal.app, or you can use your preferred terminal if you have others installed on your system. Run conda space init space zsh. Note that zsh may need to be replaced by your shell name, which will be displayed at the top of your terminal. Now, close and reopen your terminal. To test that Anaconda has been successfully installed, type conda space list into the reopen terminal. This command displays a list of packages installed in your active environment and their versions and will only execute if your Anaconda installation was successful. Now create a new conda environment for OpenFast by typing conda create dash n openfast underscore env. Activate the environment using conda activate openfast underscore env. Now you will install the most recent version of OpenFast with conda install dash c conda dash forge openfast. Following the install, you can test that OpenFast was installed correctly with which OpenFast. This will show you the installation location. You can also run OpenFast-V, which will display version information. Making sure the input files you are using match the version of OpenFast you have installed is critical for the simulation to run. After working with OpenFast, you can simply close the terminal. The next video, Running OpenFast, will show you how to set up and run a simulation. If you are operating on a Windows system, start by deciding where to host your OpenFast installation. This could be your base directory, another folder, or a new folder you create. Here, we will install OpenFast in the base directory. Go to the OpenFast Releases GitHub page at github.com. The latest version will be shown at the top of the page. Once on this page, you can scroll down to the Assets header. Note that each version has its own set of assets, so make sure to select the most recent version. Here, there is a list of executables corresponding to the different ways you can run OpenFast. Here, we will install only the main OpenFast program. Click on the main OpenFast program and find the executable file once the download is complete. Now, move this file over to your chosen location. We will now add the location of the OpenFast executable to the path so it is runnable from any directory. In the Start menu, search for Environment Variables and select Edit the System Environment Variables. Select Yes and then Environment Variables in the System Properties menu. Click on the Path variable and select Edit and then New. 
Type in the path to the location of your OpenFast executable. In this example case, it is in the base directory, so we will add C, Users, HROS, and click OK until we have exited all control panel windows. This is all that is required to install OpenFast on Windows. Proceed to the next video, which will cover setting up and running simulations within the software. Visit github.com to learn more about OpenFast and contact us via GitHub or on NREL's forum space if you have any specific questions.